1 Corinthians 11. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Mashiach. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinance as I delivered them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Mashiach is Yahuwah. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. Not every woman who prays or prophesies with an uncovered head disgraces the head itself, but it is a disgrace for those who are shaven. For if the woman is sheared, yet wholly covered, such women are not obscene when wholly covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of Elohim, but the woman is the glory of the man. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in Yahuwah. For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman, but all things of Yahuwah. Judge in yourselves. Is it comely that a woman pray unto Yahuwah uncovered? Does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. But if any man seem to be contentious, we have no such custom, neither the called out assemblies of Yahuwah. Now in this that I declare unto you, I praise you not, that ye come together not for the better, but for the worse. For first of all, when you come together in the assembly, I hear that there be divisions among you. And I partly believe it. For there must be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When ye come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat on the day of our Adonai. For in eating, every one takes before other his own supper, and one is hungry, and another is drunken. What? Have you not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the called out assembly of Yahuwah, and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of Yah that which also I delivered unto you, that Adonai Yehusha, the same night in which he was betrayed, tooketh the bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the renewed covenant in my blood. This do ye, as oft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread, and drink this cup, ye do show Adonai's death, till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread, and drink this cup of Yahuwah unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and blood of Yahuwah. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eats and drinks unworthily, eats and drinks damnation to himself, not discerning Yahuwah's body. 
For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of Yah, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come.